So for several years now, there's been a discussion as to which distribution we should be telling new users to use. And usually conventional wisdom would say that we should tell people to use Ubuntu or Linux Mint. But to be honest, I disagree with that. Ubuntu can often be a bit of a pain for various reasons. So instead of using Ubuntu, I think a better distribution to tell new users to use would be Solus OS. And I'm going to explain why that is right now on the Linux Lounge. So indeed, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why new users might want to try out Solus OS first. The main reason is that installation is incredibly easy and certainly every bit as easy as Ubuntu. All you need to do is write the image to a USB and use the incredibly simple graphical installer to get everything installed. It's vastly easier than installing something like, say, Manjaro, and it's definitely, definitely easier than installing something like Arch. It's probably every bit as easy as installing Ubuntu and Windows too. Another thing that's good about Solus for new users is that if you get stuck on anything, for example the installation process, Solus has some great documentation that's incredibly easy to follow. Ubuntu has this too, but to be honest I like Solus is better. Another thing that's really nice for new users in Solus is just how easy everything is to manage. Much like Ubuntu, you will never have to drop into a terminal when you're using Solus. OS. There's an incredibly easy to use software store and software update that you can use instead. As well as that, you can easily install your drivers and change settings through nice and simple GUI programs. So all in all, everything is very easy to manage. Speaking of software management, another thing that's really nice about Solus is the sheer amount of software that's available for it, usually in the default repositories. I think that 99.9% .9 of the software that people will want to use is available in the default Solus OS repositories. Solus is the only distribution that has everything that I need to use in the default repositories repositories, and that includes software that most distros tend not to have in the default repositories. So that's stuff like Discord, Lutris, and a few obscure programs that I like to use. As well as that, Solus maintain a set of official scripts to automatically install and update third-party software that you might want to use. So that's stuff like Spotify and Chrome. So all in all, I'm going to say that the software availability on Solus OS is pretty amazing, and it means that the new user doesn't have to use any third-party repositories, download any programs from the internet, or rely on software containers, and can instead just download what they want from the software center. Also, speaking of software, another thing that's really nice about Solus is that it's rolling release. Now you might ask, why am I recommending a rolling release distribution to new users? Well, Solus is actually incredibly stable despite being rolling release, which of course is helpful to new users. Now, you might ask, why would you want a rolling release distribution? Well, the main advantage is newer software. What tends to happen on Ubuntu and other distributions that are not rolling release and are designed to be as stable as possible is that software is extremely slow to be updated, causing you to be stuck on older versions of software, which if you're coming over from Windows probably won't be what you're used to. And actually, the approach of having older software can actually cause problems in itself. Solus, however, tends to have the newest versions of software. This means you won't run into any issues with out-of-date software. Another advantage to being rolling release is that you'll never have to upgrade to a new version. The system will just do that automatically over time. That means you'll never have to go through the installation process again once Solus is installed, nor will you have to go through a upgrade process. Which actually means if you're a bit nervous about installing Linux, you can just have someone else install Solus for you and then use it indefinitely without having to worry about major upgrades. So Solus OS really does give you the best bits of distributions like Arch and Manjaro with the best bits of Ubuntu without any of the drawbacks. And finally, the last reason I want to give for using Solus OS as a new user is that the system is incredibly polished and just works. The Solus team put a great amount of effort into making sure that everything works as it should. And since Solus is its own thing and not based on anything, so therefore built from the ground up, everything is kind of designed to work for Solus that's in the Solus repositories. In fact, Solus is one of the only distributions that I've never had a major issue with or had anything not work on it. You'll almost certainly never install anything in the Solus repositories and have it not work. If it's in there, it probably works with Solus. As well as that, the out-of-the-box experience is really good too. Regardless of which desktop environment you opt for, you can be fairly certain that it's ready to go from the minute that you install it. 
And this is a big deal with desktops like GNOME because in some distributions, the first thing I have to do is fill it with extensions. In SolidOS, OS, this isn't the case at all. It's all ready to go out of the box. And I think that's something that's true of SolidOS generally. It really is just ready to go the minute you install it and everything just works, which is why I think it's one of the best distributions for new users to Linux.